right, when you want to go, you ready? Uh, and you, you introduce yourself. Are you first. ready? Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Action. Whew. I'm John Mulkey, lead game designer. This is Leo. I'm Leo. I'm a level designer. So today I guess we got a big pile of uh, questions from community website that we're going to be answering. Happy Stick asks, what will the heavily armored replicas look like? Leo, what will they look like? <laughs> well, they'll look like guys in great big bulky <laughs> squishy things. I don't know. This is by Melljack95. How did the community affect the development of, let's say, the zooming? We've actually done a lot of listening to the, the guys on the forums and, and really scouring those as we've been going forward with like the design for the game. In fear we had the, I'm shooting, oh, I'm going to aim, I'm shooting, I'm going to aim. With uh, Project Origin, we're going straight for iron sights, full on iron sights. You know, you're blasting away and then you want to target somebody, you bring it full up, you sight down the gun. Right. And currently the audio actually ramps down a bit too when you do that, I notice yeah. like, things get quieter. It's uh, nice concentration yeah, focus. So. That's cool. Handgun wants to know if we can play as all men multiplayer. <laughs> you know, we discussed. We've actually discussed that, and the idea was that you would be able to walk around like this and squish and people's squish heads. Head, squish your head. You know, it sounds kind of cool. It would be an awesome mod for someone to make. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think it's something that we're gonna push for the core game experience. A carry sore. A carry sore. I'm sorry if I'm botching your name. Uh, so, how different in feel with a Patton PK470? B from the G2A2 assault rifle when used in fully automatic mode. Upon listening to the sound that it emits in the last trailer, I believe it is using the exact same sound as the G2A2 assault rifle. Well, there's a couple things going on. I mean, just little glimpses into kind of like how we do games around here and the, the challenges we're up against. We have, you know, we have a number of game teams that work simultaneously on different games, but we have a, sh we have a few shared elements. We have a shared sound department, and the sound department have just been like, slaving away to get condemned to polished and just kicking ass and out the door. I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> um, and so we've been neglected. <laughs> so, so yes, it is the same sound. It is the, the same sound show. right now. <laughs> the because, exact same sound. You know, we've got it wired in for now to, to, to use those. And then uh, the, they've just recently, having shipped Condemned, they're, they're shifting over onto our project. And it's awesome because, you know, they're just like bringing everything to bear. And it's like you play the game and then you, you know, you do a fresh get of assets. And then the next day you play it again and like so much stuff has changed. And you're just like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is my new favorite gun. Oh, it sounds so good. Exhale. My new best buddy. What is the percentage of outdoor and indoor locations in the single player game? It's about 50-50, I would say. I mean, it's like we, we tend to, we have some that are primarily indoor spaces because we want that, we want the claustrophobic, we want the attention building. And then we have ones that are primarily outdoor spaces. It's a good mix. We've got some areas that are wide open, big, exploring through cityscapes and stuff like that, um, with some new AI types to exploit those kinds of scenarios, those kinds of situations, those kinds of environments. Here's a simple one from Happy Stick. Will there be more blood and gore? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, there will. Uh, SPM, FPS Fanatic writes, it's a question about the assassins in Project Origin. Mm. Will they fight any different from the assassins in Fear? So the, the assassins were really popular. Everybody really liked the yes. assassins in the first game, and I, I thought they were really cool. Um, and in this game, what we're doing is we're taking them, we're, we're keeping them as a character. We've upgraded them a little bit visually, added some pretty interesting effects to them and that kind of stuff. One of the things that we added was, um, I personally always felt it was kind of, I don't know, not as cool that they kind of would run up to me and just kind of club me with their big mitts. Um, and so now they have this... Uh, shock fist. Well, it's such a horrible and corny name that we use, but yes, <laughs> it's shock, shock fist. <laughs> um, they have like these, you know, it's, it's almost like a taser fist in a sense, mm -hmm. you know. So when they're coming up on you, you're running backwards, you're in slow-mo, they're coming at you, you're firing your ass off. Um, and so now they do this just total like Wolverine presentation, if you will, of, you know, just clong, you know, and big old flares of electric bolts come on and, you know, they smack you with the, uh, the electrical damage. It's pretty damn cool. It's kind of a cool question. So Bigfoot1291, Bigfoot, pretty fucking cool. Okay, I can't say fuck. Um, if they are not included by default, would it poss be possible to make a competition mod uh, that has med packs in it? Probably not. Um, We've rewritten the, the health system to be a regenerative health system rather than the, the med kit. And the main motivation for that was, um, you know, I felt when I was when when playing fear, and a lot of people had this, where um, you know when you're when you're forced to really do that inventory management, and really you know pay attention to what's going on um, outside of the action on the screen and being immersed in it and experiencing it. To me, it just draws away from that experience. You know, it's like I'm really getting into it and I die. 
and it's like, oh crap, I wasn't looking at the uh, well, but reload, I mean, you know. And in terms of designing the fights, it's a lot easier to design a fight if you know that someone's not going to be able to right. instantly double their health in the middle of the fight, you know. Yeah. So you can't really test the difficulty because you really don't know whether they've used all their mid packs or not. So I think you'll find the fights will be a little more balanced because mm -hmm. of that. So yeah, thanks for uh, uh, writing in all this stuff. I mean, it's awesome. It's exciting to see that people are interested in what we're mm -hmm. doing. And uh, it's cool to have this opportunity to, to come and answer some of these questions directly and, you know, uh, give you some insight, I guess, into, you know, what we're working on, how we're getting it done, and some of the things we're doing. And, Send more questions. And uh, all that, yeah.